Hello, my creatures, spiky, scaramptious, delicious Scipio. Welcome to your love tarot reading. How are you doing, Scipio? Let me know in the comments below. How's the, the full moon energy treating you? We're still in the full moon energies, baby. We're letting the crazy out. All right. <laughs> All right, boo, boo Let's see. Let the crazy out, Scipio. Seriously. Be the one who knocks. All right. All right. Um, we're going to see... <laughs> We're going to see what's going on between you and your person today. Uh, this is a classic you versus them reading, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. Okay, I'm already drawn to the five of swords. Scorpio, this is what, what Scorpio likes the least. This is a betrayer that you're dealing with, some kind of a betrayal. It's emo I feel like it's emotional, though, so, you know, don't get triggered because you know how we get this. You know, you know your story best. But I already feel, you know, we assume some kind of a rotary separation in the you versus the readings. Somebody betrayed you on a psychic level, you know. They betrayed you. They did something against you. They did something to hurt you. Mm, deep, deep, deep wounding. Mm, we'll see. Please show me angels of love. What is happening for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and their little douche flute. Boop, boop. Mm. Yeah. Wow, this person feels, you know, abandoned by you. They regret what they did to you, but there was a betrayal here for sure. And, you know, for good reason, maybe they're experiencing the dreaded Scorpio silence. <laughs> Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody was very sure of themselves. Somebody, you know, somebody was very sure of themselves. Look at this big stick the Queen of Wands has. Can Queen anyone between genders arbitrary? This is your person. They poked the Scorpion with a big stick and got a little sting. It hurt. Somebody tried to provoke you. Somebody, somebody tried to push your boundaries in some kind of way. Maybe they thought they were irreplaceable. <laughs> and it turned out that is not the case in the Scorpion universe. You taught them a lesson. Five of Pentacles. They feel just like out in the cold right now. Scorpio's not talking to me. Scorpio's not acknowledging my existence. You know what? You know, the worst thing about Scorpio, um, you know, when a Scorpio gets betrayed, and boo -boo, this is the Scorpio channel. Mommy is Scorpio Sun and Rising. I got Scorpio all over my chart. Listen to me, Bibbos. And Cross Watcher. I think the worst kind of karma you get with the Scorpio is when you do something to them so bad, you cease to exist to, to us. Like basically, you know, like, and these energies can't switch Cross Watcher, don't get freaked out. But you know what I mean? Like, you do a boo boo to a Scorpio. It, it's not when we get mad. It's not when we're, you know, still talking to you and whatever. Like, it's when the Scorpio stops acknowledging your existence, then you're really in trouble. Scorpio silence. I think this person is experiencing this. I think now they lost you. You are just like, you know, the dream to them. Ace of Cups, too little, too late. Also Scorpio energy in this card. You are the Dove Scorpio as well. The exalted Scorpio in the Zodiac is represented by the Dove. <laughs> yeah, this person was really enjoying themselves. They thought they could play you in some kind of a way. Nine of Cups, they thought they were irreplaceable or they thought that you wouldn't, you know, that you wouldn't sting them. They tried to, kept trying to poke you, kept trying. You know, maybe somebody made fun of you here as well, Scorpio. Maybe you felt like they were playing you for a fool or not taking you seriously. This person learned uh, the hard way <laughs> not to provoke a Scorpio. Before we get into your person's um, fate worse than a fate worse <laughs> than the worst fate in the world, mm, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel of Tarot, my baby. I love you. I appreciate you. I see you. Give mommy a kiss. Mm. Also, let's give you a quick update on the situation with my tarot pricing. My prices have now changed. Updated prices are in the description box below. Because mommy loves you, though. I am doing a special, I'm doing a very special sale, well sale, I don't want to call it a sale because it's kind of like trashy, but whatever, like let's just call it a, a special, a summer, summer of love special. Uh, I'm doing this for my love spell, specifically we're doing a, a, doing it for my love spell specifically for the summer, a summer of love spell special, summer of love spell special, special, give me a special, oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, it's a love, a love spell to attract new love this summer in the summer of love and it's a half price compared to the normal new love spell and you can purchase that as a standalone offer or you can purchase it as a spell together with a tarot reading so all the information for that is also in the description box below baby if you're ready for something new if you want to attract those energies to your life if you want to have new boo-boos new opportunities you're sick and tired of these douche flutes uh, you might want to consider that all right baby <laughs> Abracadabra. All right. 
And also, if you want to reach out to me for uh, an email consultation, uh, these are free, and I can explain how the spells work and everything like that. I don't work against people's free will, but uh, the spells are potent. I'm doing them in Cyprus at the Island of Love, the Island of the Goddess Aphrodite. All right, so back to your douche flute. You know, this person really, like, they did you a boo-boo, like, they did you dirty in some way, like, psychically. Like, you expected better from them. You expect this person to be, like, loving, you know, because there's something very scrumptious about them. They were actually quite scrumptious. But at a certain point, you know, it's like, if if this was an established connection, this person came in all scrumptious, nine of cups. They were, like, very, fulf they fulfilled you, baby. You need somebody to fulfill you, you know, fill your cup. We are water. We need that. We need a nice, beautiful, scrumptious cup to hold us. They knew how to hold you. They knew how to talk to you. You know, um, could have been a period of like even, there's something here about nine months or the number nine. So, you know, could have been like for a while, whether it's years or months or weeks, you know, for a while. And I mean, it's an established connection. If it's an established connection, it was longer than that, you know, longer than weeks. But, you know, this person was fulfilling you. But then slowly but surely, like, you know, there's a bit of a rap to this, a little bit of a trick. They started getting complacent. They started getting disrespectful. They started to, you know, maybe not appreciate the Scorpion. Uh, they didn't see your dignity. They didn't see your royalty. And they started to just disrespect you. They started to not pay attention to you. They started to neglect you, baby, did not worship. All right, the peasant ceased to worship. And they thought you wouldn't do anything about it because they felt like this relationship was very strong and this queen of um, pentacles, king, anyone in between, would persevere. They felt your commitment to them was so strong you would take any kind of behavior. This is also someone who could have switched up on you. You got married or engaged or you like something happened, moved in together, you solidified this connection in some kind of way. Sorry, I just saw something on the ceiling. You know, mommy is afraid of bugs, but it's actually just um, a little flying one. I don't know what it is, but it's like a little green, green flying one. That's a good omen, you know, new things, new good things coming in. Um, <clears throat> money too, by the way, Scorpio, good money could be coming towards you. Um, they thought you were so committed because Scorpio is so committed, baby. When we commit to somebody, we commit for life. And this person's like, this person, this person, this Scorpio, this boo boo is so committed to me. I'm just going to do whatever I want now. It's also somebody who could have um, ended up, you know, kind of indulging in addictions or indulging in self destructive behaviors, and you did not appreciate that, Scorpio. And you were watching them. Like, you know how Scorpios get. Like, we were paying attention. You were paying attention. We pay attention, boo boo. We were watching. They were like, yeah, show me more of who you really are. Someone started feeling too complacent. Uh, and too safe, and they started to just really annoy you, but they started poking you with that stick. Scorpio was watching and watching and watching until, boom, one day you just exploded, and you're like, enough is enough, Ace of Wands. There's a big blow up here, and uh, you bit them, but they you bit this one, you bit this one hard, and they, like, totally unexpected. You know, Scorpio is represented by the tower, if you know the tower card in the tarot. You know, it's this unexpected, big, explosive situation that was kind of like brewing, but maybe still people thought it wouldn't happen. That's the Scorpio energy. You know, we come in like the tower, and now this person feels like you totally like cast them out, or they've been put out in the cold. Scorpio's not talking to them. You know, you burned down this village, but they were provoking you. They were poking you, biting your ankles, but Bill ankle biter if it was if it was a new connection baby it was somebody who um you know bimbo himbo anywhere in between he met on tuesday on tinder it, it was somebody again who came in like very scrumptious very put together kind of love bomby and then like slowly but surely they started provoking they started to be complacent they started to be disrespectful maybe a bit of a neg here and there and Scorpio was watching, 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 and then one day, boom. You told them something about themselves, or you just cast them out, you know, like you burnt something, you burnt down a bridge here, Scorpio. Or they did it themselves, you know, because they just kept on provoking and provoking and provoking. And then one day, Scorpio was just like, okay. In that case, curtain down. And now this person feels like, oh, how could Scorpio do that to me? But it's like this person was asking for it. They were asking for trouble, trying to start arguments, trying to start some kind of trauma. Why is this person like this? What a douche flute. Yeah, judgment. They have 
have some issues, you know. They have some issues from the past. There could be issues between you from a past life, too, if you believe in past lives, baby. Um, but there's some deep issues from the past. It's like a behavior they have. They, it's like a misbehavior energy. Like, they like to push boundaries. Um, they like to push boundaries. It's something they deal with. Uh, also, again, like, very, I'm getting strongly, like, addictive issues. You know, maybe that person struggles with addictions or struggles with, like, you know, some kind of a bad choice they're making in their life. Um, their intentions now, they know there's unfinished business here that needs healing to build the nine of wands. They know they need to heal this. They actually realize and understand that they brought this on themselves, but they can't help thinking, how could Scorpio do that to me? You left me out in the cold, Scorpio. They're coming in with the lover's energy, the bill. You cannot make this up. The lovers and the two of cups in the long term. So Scorpio, this person is coming in, the bill for sure, in the next, um, give it a month or two. This person is coming in in a month or two at the max. You know, could be, you know, could be a couple of hours, couple of days, but they're coming in still in the summer to say, you know, I'm sorry, Scorpio, I love you. I fell in love with you. If it's a new bimbo, himbo, in between, you know, they're gonna be like, actually, I think you're just amazing. I don't know why I behave like douche flute. It just like came out of me. It's just like a behavior that I learned somewhere, you know? <laughs> I just wanted to provoke you and poke you and I didn't mean it because I actually discovered that I love you when you cast me out of your life, baby, and when you bit me. You stung me, I keep saying bit me, Scorpio, bit me, well, whatever. Um, two of Cups. I mean, to them, this is like, this is earthly love, but it's divine love and it's soul love. So all these types of love, like you were like, I think this person sees you as like, if it's super new, you know, they saw you potentially as the love of their life. And it really is love at first sight. If it's somebody more established, you know, they want to go back to this beautiful union. And this time around, they want to really like come up trumps for you. They want to do the right thing. They want to be the partner that you deserve, you know, a divine vibration over here and soulmates, you know, their soul misses you, baby, deeply on a profound level. I mean, you know, I'm not going to lie. Not surprised. Let's see what the advice is for the Scorpio. Ah, oh, four of wands. You know, Scorpio, if you want this person, if you miss them, and if you're willing to work with their difficult personality, I mean, you can, you know, put them back in the database. You deleted them, for, they feel deleted from the database, but you know, maybe there's a part of you that wants to forgive them. And if you do want to have a reunion with them, I actually do see them have, exhibiting the, you know, the Bibu is going to exhibit much better behavior this time around. They're really going to try. They're going to be serious about it. King of Wands, King Queen, again, King Queen, anyone between. They're going to be more serious about it. They're going to give it a try. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below. If this is your story, baby, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification button or else. All right. It really helps me out. It's for the AI uh, YouTube overlords. Mm, I love you, overlords. Um, the AI overlords want to know you enjoy my videos. It um, means that I can, uh, I can show them I've been a good girl, and when they think that, then I can make more content for you, and everything is more scrumptious. Yeah, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying today. I, I, I'm in a weird energy today. It's like, it's not bad, but it's also kind of weird. Uh, Scorpio, I love you. I'll see you next time. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay Scorpionic. All right, take care of that stinger for me. Stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>